All right, so in this video, we're gonna check out RX-6. We're gonna clean out the breath sounds, the S's, the plosives, and even get rid of mouth clicks with just the press of a couple buttons. Let's do this, let's jump right in. The Magic of RX-6 by Isotope. Okay, so I've recorded the vocalist inside of my home studio, and now I have the acapella open inside of RX. And this is where I start. I always wanna make it as clean as possible before I start processing it in any other sort of way. As I stated in the beginning of these video series, I'm just gonna do everything automatically. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna use the default settings for a few of these modules just to show you how powerful plugins are these days. And obviously RX is, you know, the industry standard for cleaning dialogue or vocals or even really any audio. What we're gonna do here is just kind of show you the power of RX. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and clean up the breaths. And I'm actually just gonna go right down the line here. I find that this is actually a pretty good signal or path to follow so if I need to clear up the breath I'll go breath and then I'll go to you know DS after so let's just go ahead and do that first of all let's go ahead and preview some of the breath sounds inside of the file okay so we got some breaths right here so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and breath control, and I'm just going to use the default. These are the default when you buy RX. This is the default settings inside of here. I'm not going to choose a different preset. I'm just going to hit process and watch what happens. And look how quickly it happened too. But visually, you can already see the breaths have gone away. If I click back and forth on the history here, breath, 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 and look it all gone away. So let's go ahead and listen. É assim que eu me sinto, longe do seu amor. So notice you can still hear the breaths, but they're pushed way back. And that's what we're looking for. It's unnatural not to have that breath sound, but it's also really distracting when it's too loud. And that's, you know, that's what happens when you're in front of a microphone and you're trying to sing, right? <laughs> you gotta take those deep, big breaths. So those are taken care of. Let's move on to DSing. Let's see if we can't find a part that has some S's. Você já sabe. Okay, so we got a couple S's right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and run the DSer. So again, I'm just gonna use this default. I'm not gonna change the algorithm. I'm not gonna change any of these settings. I'm just gonna hit process and I'm gonna let RX do the work for me. It's gonna take a second, so let's fast forward this part, but I'm just gonna hit process. Okay, so you can actually see the difference there. Again, in the history, if I jump back and forth, that's all the where all the S's have been taken away. So now we can go ahead and listen to the difference. Você já sabe. Cool, without. Você já sabe. So a big improvement there. And the next thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and run the deplosive. Again, just click deplosive and hit process. Close out of there. And there's actually a spot at the end that I wanna show you so you can hear here. So. This part right here has a bunch of S's and a plosive. So listen. So same porcento. So same porcento. So there's a, a plosive and an S. So I'm gonna go ahead back to just breath control and let's listen to before the processing. So same porcento. So lots of S's, that plosive is very apparent. Let's go to DS. So same porcento. So the S's have been reduced dramatically and they sound much better and less and much less harsh, but now you can actually hear that plosive more now that the S's have been tamed. And watch what happens when I hit the deplosive. So simple santo. And essentially what that deplosive is doing is just removing the low end energy of that plosive uh, consonant sound. So it does a really good job. And again, all I'm doing is clicking the module and hitting process and just the defaults inside of here are phenomenal. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out and there's just one last thing I wanna to do to this particular vocal inside of RX and that is just get rid of the mouth de-clicking. There's actually some up here in the front, uh, right here for example. You can hear it, right? So let's go ahead and run the mouth de-click and I'm just, again, just gonna go ahead and process 
and you'll see how many clicks it's removing and hopefully it'll get rid of that click right there just so we can get a good example of what it's looking for. But again, hit the module, hit process, and it's really cleaning up the vocal. Obviously, if you have a bigger issue inside of your vocal, then you're gonna wanna jump in and do a little bit more work and you know jump in and maybe check the different presets and then if those don't work go ahead and start moving around some of the parameters yourself but this was already a pretty decent recording to begin with this is just making it much better easily and you can see that it got rid of that but it's still got a click right there but I'm not really concerned with, about it but if we zoom in here let me go ahead and zoom in uh, and check this area right here when I go to Deplosive, you'll see that it did get rid of some of those clicks. So this would be an instance of where maybe you want to go a little bit higher on the sensitivity, for example. But the purpose of this tutorial series is to show you how great uh, just the machine learning and automatic processing and presets can actually get you all the way to a professional sounding product just by using these presets and automatic processes inside of these plugins. So that's how I would handle this vocal inside of RX. Obviously, I'd go through and listen to the entire thing. I'd jump back and forth and look graphically where changes have been made and then go in and listen to them before and after to make sure no nothing's been processed too much or you know something's been mistakenly classified as a plosive that isn't and things like that. But that's where I'm gonna leave it. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and file. I'm gonna go ahead and export. And usually I would just overwrite the original. For instance, when I do my tutorials and I clean up the vocal inside of RX if I need to, I just overwrite the original because it's just a hassle of trying to import a second one. But for something like this, I always save a new version just so I can always go back if I need to. So I'm gonna save wave, 32-bit float, sweet. I don't need to open it inside of RX, hit okay. And I'm just gonna put cleaned. All right, so this is where the raw file is. I'm just gonna put cleaned, hit save. It's gonna export and we're good to go. And if this was a very serious project, I would save the RX file just so I can, again, come back in and make any changes that need to be changed or further process if need be. But I think we're good to go. So that's a demonstration of how powerful RX is in cleaning up a vocal. In the next tutorial, we're gonna check out processing this using Melodyne to make sure the tone of the singer's vocal is on point inside of the key of the track. Let's move on to that. <laughs> Thank you.